Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. You saw the title of the video. Before I get into the unboxing, let me show you my bag of the day. And that would be my Longchamp mailbox. And this is in navy with navy suede. And I have attached this adorable coach charm, which I think goes with it so, so well. These colors coordinate really nicely. And I've been using this bag for two days. Love, love, love this bag. And it is not discontinued. They are available on the Longchamp website right now in an absolutely beautiful top shade. So if you head on over, if you're interested in the mailbox, they have them. So you saw the title of the video. We bought a classic flap. And yes, it's a classic and it's a flat bag. So wait and see what I bought. Here is the box. Here's my little knife and I'm gonna dig in. So this was mailed to me. I did not go in person. So this is the first time that I'm actually seeing this. And I'm trying to remember if I've actually seen one of these in person. Have I touched it? Have I felt it? Have I picked it up? Can't remember. But anyway, I just thought that this would be a great addition to my collection. And I'm excited. So box is open. Here we go. And it's from Bloomingdale's. Of course, packaging is going to be like crap. So, like I said, guys, it's a classic, classic style, and it's a flat bag. So, let's see what I got. This is bigger than what I expected. Pardon me. I'm using my, my bag of the day. Anyway, this is bigger than what I expected. So, let's get this tissue off. Check out what it is. Before I go any further, this is a collab with Yota of Yota Style. So once you finish watching my video, please go over, check out Yota because she bought a classic flap as well. So you're gonna wanna see what she got. Okay. Why am I being so careful? Let's just unwrap it. Oh, 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 here's the front. And it's the Tory Burch Soft Fleming in cream. Now, I'm not trying to clickbait anybody, but you know, there's more than one place that makes a classic flap, and this is definitely a classic shaped bag. And one word that I want to say, you know, and, and I say this to my friends often, there's only a finite number of bag shapes out there, and people are really quick to say, oh, this one copy, this one, this one copy, that one. You know, unless it's really like a stitch for stitch, there really isn't a lot of copying that's happening. It's, you know, how many different ways are you gonna make a dome-shaped bag? How many different ways are you gonna be making a flap-style shoulder bag? So, yeah, I mean, there's, there's more than one way and more than one company that can make a very similar bag. And since I'm not gonna spend $10,000 for a classic flat from Chanel anytime soon, this was actually on sale on the Bloomingdale's website and it keeps popping up. So here we have the straps are down. Let's open it up. Let's take away this cardboard, which we don't need. And let me give you a little look here. So here's the front. Here is the Tory Burch stamping for their Soft Fleming line. And if you recall, let's just spin it. If you recall, I had a green Soft Fleming in an older style, and I traded it to Jackie from Jack's Bag Attack, and I missed it so much. And when I saw that this popped up and it was reduced from $6.98 to 4 dollars 
I had to have it. So I can tell you the leather is very, very soft. It's really, really buttery, buttery smooth. And it just feels amazing. It really feels like very good luxury quality. So on the bottom, you can see it's two pieces. The quilting doesn't exactly match up, but I don't think it's gonna match up with this bag. They're not Chanel, and I would expect that Chanel would line up, but it does line up in the front, and that's just fine with me. Nobody's gonna be paying attention to the bottom of the bag. So you have a magnetic closure here, and then you have three pockets. You have one, in the front and then there's a little slip pocket here and then you have the center compartment which is nice and spacious and then in the back there's a small back compartment and on the back of the center compartment you have a zip compartment so there's plenty of storage and I can tell you right now this bag is a really really nice size and this is a convertible style where you can wear it on your shoulder or you can make it crossbody. So the inside of the flap is all leather. And then the lining here is a really nice fabric. And I'm fine with a fabric interior. In fact, I like it better than microfiber a lot of times because the microfiber, if it's a colored microfiber, it can really stain or damage your SLGs. So let me stand up and see. Oh, well, here's the tag. Here is the tag. So the color is new cream and the price is removed from this. Now this looks like, oh no, here it is. Suggested retail, $6.98. So there it is. So let's see what it looks like on. This is a really nice strap drop, a strap drop, strap drop, yeah, right. It's a really nice drop. So, let me, ooh, let me not get hurt, <laughs> most of all. Okay, so here is where it comes on the shoulder. So it's a really, it's a generous size. And then crossbody, I guess it's probably better to do it this way. Crossbody, it comes right to my hip. So, perfect. And this is a bigger size than I will wear crossbody. And the likelihood that I'm going to be wearing this crossbody is like slim to none. So, it doesn't really matter so much to me. And it's not that obvious, but these are leather woven chains. The chains have a nice weight to them. I really like this antique gold color. Really, really pretty. I think that this is a really classy looking bag for sure. And, you know, I kind of had a void. You know, the only other flat bag that I have is my Coach Studio bag. And that has the lock in the front. And it's definitely not the same as this here. So I feel really good having this style in my collection. And I think that this is a great bag if you wanna use it every day or if you wanna use it for dress. It's really nice and versatile. It's not so heavy. And I think the fact that there is material lining the pockets definitely helps with the weight. So that's really a positive. And the chain strap goes through these grommets on the top and they only have a little bit of gold showing. I like the fact that they're leather wrapped because it's not gonna scratch as easily. But honestly, I don't remember any scratches on my other bag, the other soft Fleming style. I don't remember that ever getting scratched. Um, the one thing that I do want to point out is that on the side, you can see that this is not divided at all. So it looks like it's just one big pocket. And there is a little bit of a lip around the side. So the capacity is a little bit smaller 
than what it looks like from the front. But again, it's a really good capacity bag and I'm really excited to use it. I'm really surprised too that this cream color was on sale because this is a fairly new color from my understanding. And since it's really a basic color, they don't typically put basic colors on sale. Usually anything that's black, white, cream, or top, those are normally core colors or sometimes like a turtle dove, which is a top. They're typically core colors and usually it's seasonal colors that will wind up on sale or some type of a seasonal fabric because they did make some Flemings in tweed. So I guess I just really lucked out. But when I saw it the first time, I really expected that this was a mistake. And I looked again and it showed up again another day and sold out before I even had a chance to do anything. And I probably stalked this for about a good week and a half. And finally when it popped up, I'm like, no, I have to have it. I'm not gonna wait anymore. This one is for me. So that was my story. Now, what do you think about this being a good dupe for Chanel Classic Flat? Because other than having a turn lock, this has all the elements of Chanel. And you know I'm a Chanel lover. You know that I have Chanel pieces. And I wouldn't say that this was a good substitute for a classic flat if I didn't really feel it in my heart. And I absolutely feel this in my heart. I'm not 100% sure if this is calfskin or lambskin. It feels like lambskin. It feels very, very smooth. Like I said, it's very, very subtle supple and it definitely has a, a luxurious touch to it and I would say that this is really on par with my blue Chanel bag and with my um medium O case the casino case it feels just as good as those so I'm happy I'm a happy camper and yeah I'm loving it so tell me what you think Yay or nay, would you buy this bag? And head on over to Yota and see what Yota bought because she has something really, really special to show as well. And remember, you never know when something's gonna pop up on sale. So if you are interested, if you're waiting, just be patient and stalk it out for a little while and you'll probably wind up bringing it on home. All right, guys. I appreciate your stopping by. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning viewer, I love you and I appreciate you. And please come back again. I will be back on Monday with another unboxing. Something adorable. So you're going to want to see that. See you soon. Bye.